Hi guys, so I'm back here in one of our digital x-ray analyzing suites. And so we use digital x-rays in our office to help with the diagnosis of a disc. Now, although you can't see the actual disc on the x-ray, you can extrapolate a lot that's going on with the disc by looking at the x-ray. So you can see disc swelling, you can see abnormal alignment patterns, such as an antalgic posture, or even a, uh, um, an anterior tilt as a result of a posterior swollen disc. So a digital x-ray is a very informative and helpful resource to be able to aid in the diagnosis of a disc problem. There's many other things that we do as well. So we will look at structural load. We'll look at gait. We'll look at certain muscle activation strategy to be able to discern and determine whether or not the disc is being bothered. We also in our office have a digital range of motion machine that we use to assess motion and biomechanical patterns. We also use infrared thermography in our office to see how the autonomic nerve system is being impacted, how it's adapting and what the heat level is at those particular spots in the spine. So there's many great tools that we use, a lot of them digital, and in our office we always try to have the latest technology available to assist in helping us deliver the greatest care to people. So if you're concerned or wondering if you have a disc issue and you haven't had something like an MRI to confirm that, there's a lot of great ways for us to come up with a pretty pinpoint diagnosis for you without the long wait times that oftentimes go with an MRI. We can always do our best to try to help you as quickly as possible because disc issues often when left uncontended with will get worse.